up and showing you guys how to fix this dreadful error. Now, for some, this may not even show up. Instead, you might just launch this, and what will happen is uh, nothing will happen. Um, either it will say preparing to launch, and then nothing will happen, or just nothing at all will happen. Um, so, to see if this happens, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your Steam directory. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Source SDK Base. Right click on the Half-Life 2 executable, go to Properties, Compatibility, and check the Run This Program as an Administrator box. Go ahead and hit Apply and OK. So then, when you run it, you should get this error. Now, I know how to fix this. Uh, I went around on some forums. They said reinstall Steam. They said verify the uh, integrity of the tool game cache. Um, I did both of those things. I uninstalled Steam, reinstalled everything, and still did not work. So that really got me frustrated. So I just said, fuck it. I'm going to do this myself, and I fixed it myself. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you have a fresh, clean install of Source SDK Base 2006. Oh, and also, um, if you do not have a working Source SDK base 2006, this will also make it so that you cannot play any kind of Half-Life 2 mods. Insurgency Modern Infantry Combat, that will not launch. Neo Tokyo, that will not launch. Firearm Source, that will not launch. Any kind of Half-Life 2 mod will not launch because of this. So fix this, it's actually very simple. So the first thing that you're going to do is, like I said before, uh, get a fresh, clean install of Source SDK Base 2006. And you may be wondering why I am talking about this one in particular. It's because Half-Life 2 mods use this base. So that's what they use. That's what they run off. So, what you're going to do is go to your Steam Apps Common and delete your source SDK base. Completely delete it and recycle it. Then you're gonna just delete the local content. Because if you just delete local content, there will still be files in your actual common directory. So once all that is done, you're gonna just reinstall source SDK base 2006, verify the game cache to make sure nothing is missing and everything is fine and up to date. Then once everything is, uh, once you've done all those things, the fix from here is actually very simple. If you'll notice, when you look at this error, it talks about a uh, corrupted Steam API.dll, and guess what? There is a Steam API.dll in the bin folder of source SDK base. There's also a Steam API.dll in your Windows drivers directory. So I'm talking about your C Windows, okay? And basically that means that reinstalling Steam and flat fresh cleanly reinstalling this stuff could not make a, any kind of dent whatsoever in fixing a corrupted Steam API.dll because there is one in your C Windows directory. So, the only way to fix this is either A, delete your old Steam, uh, delete your Steam API.dll in your Windows folder, or you can do um, a little simpler fix. So, um, what you're gonna do is just copy this, just right click, copy, and then paste. That's all you gotta do, guys. It's that simple. Go to your bin folder of your source SDK base and copy the steamapi.dll in the bin folder and just paste it into your root source SDK base folder. And then it, it will work there. It will work fine from then on out. So that probably has fixed several years of frustration from me because uh, all my source SDK mods 
or, sorry, all my Half-Life 2 mods just stopped working randomly all of a sudden, and, um, it really sucked, because there's a lot of cool Half-Life 2 mods, and I could not play those anymore. So, that is how you fix it. I am sure you could also fix it by going into your Windows folder, C Windows. Just all you have to do is go into your C drive, go into Windows, and in this little search box you're going to type in Steam. Just That's it, just Steam, and it will come up with the steamapi.dll file. Um, so that is where that's located. So you may be able to delete that and then um, uh, maybe maybe restart Steam and, it, and it'll uh, Reins uh, it'll recopy the DLL, or maybe you might even have to reinstall Steam if you actually end up deleting the Windows SteamAPI.DLL. So, um, as far as the simplest and the quickest fix, I would say this is your best bet. So, just proving to you guys that this does work, I'll launch it for you right now after copying the DLL file over. You guys go fucking works perfectly, and yeah, ex I'm extremely happy right now. Um, because I mean, not extremely. I mean, obviously you can hear it in my voice. I'm not extremely happy, but um, I am very glad and thankful that, or uh, I am grateful. Actually, that would be a better word. I'm grateful for things working out and working. So. Um, Source SDK Base 2006 itself actually doesn't really do much, it's just a, a stress test, but um, games do run off of it anyway, so if you want to check if your Half-Life 2 mods will work, just simply launching this will, um, will determine if your Half-Life 2 mods will work. So, that is how you do it guys. Uh, I hope this helped you out. This is the only video there is online, or any kind of guide there is online on how to fix this issue. Um, I hope this helps you out, and it will help you out. I know it will. Um, yeah, so please like the video, please subscribe, please share the video as well so that more people can fix this issue. Alright, see ya.